everybody, it's Brooklyn with tip number four of Learn My Five Secret Tricks for Marketing My Paint Party series. Um, the overview is tip number one was the calendar, um, the social media calendar that you were emailed automatically when you signed up for the newsletter. Um, tip number two was E. E was for education. Tip number three was I. I is for information. And tip number four is E for entertainment. And if you notice, it's E-I-E-I-O, which is very easy to remember. Um, I like to make anagrams with the things that I teach. That way my readers and listeners can remember it always. Um, and then the O is just thrown in there so that E-I-E-I-O makes sense. And that stands for online. And what we're talking about is everything that you post online needs to be educational, informational, entertaining. We'll learn the next I tomorrow online. So let's get started. E is for entertaining and it is my favorite one. And um, like we did with the others, let's talk about what day of the week you should entertain your followers. Um, quite naturally, um, I choose um, education I'm sorry, I'm going back, uh, rewind for a second. Um, I'm going to go over the days of the week that we chose for um, education and information. So Sundays and Saturdays we educate our followers because they're at home, they have a little bit more time on their hands, and I don't know about you, but I do all my webinars and you know read books and stuff like that on the weekends. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays we talked about the nitty gritty work week and how everybody's more receptive to information and just data and just that kind of um, mundane information um, that they need. Um, and information can be interesting as well and we talked about that uh, day before yesterday. And today we're going to talk about entertainment and when should you entertain your crowd. I think that that's a very, very easy one to answer. Fridays, TGIF, everybody wants to get out of the office, they want to go home, they're ready for the weekend, they're fried, they're ready for the week to be done. So people want to be entertained on Friday. They want to laugh, they want to smile, they need your help to get through their day. Um, and I like to entertain people on Wednesday because, I don't know about you, but what day is it? It's hump day and I get all those kinds of things all the time in my email on Wednesdays. So Wednesday and Friday and that's what I did. So your calendar should look like this. Just in pencil or pen write edu education above Sunday and Saturday, info for information on Tuesday and Thursday, and enter for entertainment above Wednesday and Friday. So now you have a good template of what to post, when to post it, so that you are working smart, not hard. And it's all about working smart. Um, I should say not working. I, you can work hard here. And quite frankly, your first time uh, at filling up this calendar is going to be some hard work. And it's going to take some time. It's going to take some planning. But it is going to pay you dividends that you can't imagine after it's over. And not only that, but once you do it once, you're going to become so much better at it. And you're going to get better and better and better. And your business is going to grow and grow and grow. And I cannot stress it enough you need to make sure that you're working smart posting when people are receptive to it and posting things that aren't a turnoff that don't get you unfollowed that aren't shared by other people that aren't liked by people and that generate no engagement when you are posting you might as well be posting something that's effective because it takes the same amount of time to post something good as it does to post crap that's not good. So I'm going to show you how to post something really good. All right, so entertainment's my favorite. And here is an example how I 
take something entertaining or funny that makes you laugh and drive people to my workshops with it. So here's the post that I just did earlier. Do you have other people's crap laying around in your garage and need some help refinishing it? Worry no more, my crap loving friend. I got you. We have two different fun workshops this weekend that will teach you how to turn trash into treasure with Junk Gypsy Paint. Don't forget your wine and a couple friends. Everything else is provided. There's the link to my workshops and my appropriate hashtags. Um, I found this by literally, let me show you what I did. I'm going to escape out of that. All I did was go to Google and I typed in garage sale funny and you could also type in garage sale meme. Um, I just, this is where I found it. I really love these. Hey girl, come to our garage sale. Uh, we got cold pops. I'm not really understanding what that means, but whatever. Um, you can find funny things all day long about garage sales, curbside finds, dumpster diving, um, all kinds of fun stuff that gets people's attention and is easy to look at and it gets a laugh and a share. They're very engaging. Um, a friend of mine, uh, she is a gymnastics teacher and just as an example of how this works for other um, industries, she posted this. Bah ha ha ha, oh my gosh, I don't know why I find this so funny. So I thought you'd probably want to see what was so funny about that. And it is a candidate for the Olympic Pet Gymnastics Uneven Bar. And this is just a cat going crazy on a chair. But she has posted this. Um, because it, it it means something to her and she's a gymnastics teacher so it's funny to her it's funny to her audience and you can find all kinds of stuff like this for furniture painting um, mishaps uh, I found one one time with a paintbrush in a wine glass because the girl uh, just wasn't paying attention and that's always kind of funny so anyways um, going back to the PowerPoint uh, you can find something funny and tie it back to your workshops. And here's the last slide. Um, entertainment examples, eBay prices at garage sale site. Uh, your garage sale is more like a garbage sale, but the B is silent. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, my mom likes to call webs or, uh, garage sales needless markup if they have Neiman Marcus prices. Um, and then this one, I'll be having a yard sale to try to get rid of things I bought at yard sales. And I just did that, so that made me laugh. So, going back a few slides. E is for entertainment. It's all about working smart. Why post things that aren't followed, shared, liked, or engaged with? You want to post when it's important to your audience education, information, and entertainment. That's what we've covered so far. Everything that you post online needs to be E-I-E-I-O. Okay, so I will do the last I uh, tomorrow. So look for that email, and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.